and welcome back to the foodie finale of tonight's show. And Cleena, you are treating us to a traditional fish pie, your mother's recipe. What I actually, I, I messaged her a few weeks ago and I was like, do you remember that fish pie you used to make when I was young? <laughs> Yeah. And um, so she screenshot the book, and like the book was from 1976, 1977. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but like I think it's really cool. Like we all went a bit mad on the really healthy green food, you know. Yeah. And I think now we're going back to basics. Like it's, that. It's September. It's yeah. going to be raining tomorrow. And it's just basic we need good food. food. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It'll probably rain tomorrow and every day for the rest of it. <laughs> and I don't be saying that. I don't be saying that. Okay, I get one last we wear out of the, the summer dress. Mm. Right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make um, a white sauce. It's really easy. This is the same white sauce that you would make if you're making a lasagna. So okay. this, is, this is how easy it is, except I'm making much less of it. I'm making 300 mils. So I have 30 grams of butter and I've melted that. And then I'm gonna pop in, oops, 30 grams of flour. Now I like to whisk it, okay? And you whisk it into a roux. So you just leave it cooked away for a minute or two if you were at home. Okay, medium okay. heat. Okay. That's easy to remember, 30 and 30. Yeah, yeah that's really, and then, 300 mils of milk for this recipe. If you were making a lasagna, you'd make much more, maybe 500. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you do 50 50. Okay. Yeah. That's a good rule of thumb. I have a feeling this is going to be a small fish pie and we're going to be fighting over this. <laughs> no, do you know what you have to remember? Um, loads of juices come out of the fish. So if you have like a, a really watery white sauce. Yeah. And then you add in the fish juices, like yeah. it'll just be slop. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you have yeah. to have it nice and thick. So what we're going to do is, um, if you're at home, you would heat this nice and slowly for six or seven minutes. You'd keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the stirring. pan. Yeah. And when when the sauce begins to simmer, it'll start to get thick, and that, that's where you want okay. it to be. Okay. But we're okay. going to add in some pepper, some salt. And the secret ingredient is some nutmeg. I always I do this. Oh, really? Yeah, I know, it's really nice in it. And um, I always put it in, oh, I thought I had forgotten that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there would be some improvising going on. How am I going to grate a nutmeg <laughs> with my bare hands? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so grate in just a little nutmeg. And then I better stir it because it'll... It'll what stick. else do you use nutmeg in? My dad has a lot Egg of Egg custard. Egg custard. Oh my okay. God, it reminds me of being 10 years old at my Nana's house. Ah, Do you ever have egg hey. custard? I wasn't a big fan of oh. custard growing up now. Oh, egg custard is so mm. good. I'll just what, turn this egg. in. Yeah, give it a go. Yeah, yeah but you, I have did you say sprouts? Sprouts, yeah. yeah um, but like, it's one of those spices you might have in your cupboard that never gets used. Just kind of waves at yeah. the others as they leave. It's kind, the of, a, it's kind <laughs> of a retro spice. Yeah, yeah it is. Kind of a, um, I just put in 25 grams of cheese. What oh, type right. of cheese? Okay. Do we need so, to? Oh, that's cheddar. Okay. But like, I kind of obviously, like you do you, do whichever one you yeah, like. Do whatever. But, um, yeah, do okay. yeah. okay. But um, I've put in cheddar because it's nice and easy. So we're just gonna, that's nice and thick now, so we're just gonna leave that for one, one second. Um, now this, I'm gonna add in, this fish pie, you can do it plain, just with the white sauce and the fish and the topping that I'm going to put on it. However, you can also improvise it whatever way you want. Okay, I'm gonna put in some broccoli. Is oh, this gosh. how your mother would have made it? My mum would have made it plain. If you're watching, Clean as mum. No, she's I'm butchering. We, we, butchering we, we the looked dish. at you on for analysis. My, my, my mom could cook me out of the building. Really? She's amazing. Yeah, oh my God, yeah, she's amazing. So um, at home, you would blanch these for about a minute, okay? So okay. Just, just to get them nice and warm. You don't have to. If you like your broccoli crunchy, just put it in raw, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to pretend they've been in there for a minute. Okay, okay? Yes. And okay. we're going to pump them. Well, we've been talking so much about like, not Leaving having food nothing. waste, particularly in the month of September. So, like, if you have anything, you could add in. I like putting point. in um, chorizo. Oh, okay. So it's really good. Like, some people don't like broccoli with it, some do, but um, chorizo is really good. Or, do you know if you get a jar of those rose peppers? Yeah. yeah. So cut them up and pop them in with it. So I've got some sun-dried tomatoes here as well. Lovely. So mm. sun-dried tomatoes and actually chopped olives. Yeah, really good in it oh, as well. Oh, you've got real notions with this fish pie now, Gina. Chopped olives and some dried tomatoes. But the basics are that you just need to be able to make the white sauce. Okay. You know, and so we'll get because that. Because the fish is going to cook in it. God, that really when has come together. Yeah. So then you pop in. This is 700 grams of hake. I'm making this for six because this is for my imaginary okay. family at home. <laughs> there's six of us. Okay. <laughs> but generally about 140 grams yeah. of white fish would be like an adult portion. Yeah. Okay. So right. you mix that in. Okay, this is like so easy. Okay. Then you get your broccoli. You get your dish. Just gonna grease your dish. You've really cooked this in real time, nearly. Like it's quick. Oh, it's really quick. And this is probably the worst way to spread butter on a dish. <laughs> Everyone at home is probably <laughs> horrified, and I don't blame you. Okay, but it's, um, it's all right. There is another one. There was mild panic sitting in there. So we're gonna drain this. Okay, with a colander at home, but 
pop the broccoli in. Now this, mm -hmm. like anybody can make this, right? No, they couldn't. Only you and your mom. So relax. Give it a mix. Right? It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, and you pop it in here. Okay. So it look nice. The fish so hasn't. Tempting to just go in no, there. Right no, but the fish hasn't cooked at all with the heat of the sauce, or has it? A no. tiny bit. A you tiny bit. But it still needs to be baked. Oh, okay. oh yeah, no, it still needs to be baked. Oh my okay. god. Yeah. If you ate this, you'd be. Okay. I'd be in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> okay, so next that. thing we're going to do pine nuts, Lovely. which you normally wouldn't associate with. Um, yeah. So you sprinkle them on top. Okay, about 100 grams there. So we got the, all these great layers when we took it. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. And then breadcrumbs. Nice. Good way of using up any stale sliced pans you've got at home exactly. as well. Exactly, so you just layer up, again, so, about but, 100 grams. Because yeah, there's never a reason to actually go and buy breadcrumbs. No, the, I know. It's there in your press, all you need to do is just... Do you know, do you know um, I was actually at the till in Tesco one day and the woman behind the till told me, gave me this tip and it's the best tip. So if you've got stale bread, right? Pop it in, like, you know, like a wedge of sourdough, pop it in the oven really low and just bake it for a little while and then take out your grater and grate the baked bread and you have like your panko breadcrumbs. Isn't that oh, a good yeah. tip? Great Tesco tip. I, I know, <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> but I actually came away going, it just pays to talk to people. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, you, you learn so much stuff. Speaking of talking to people, have you ever bumped into a celeb? Have I? Do you know what I have? In, in my youth, I wouldn't say, bumped into would be a gross exaggeration. Okay. But I was at dinner one night with my friend and we were, there was only like three tables and Manchester United were next to us. David I, Beckham was there <gasps> and Victoria came wow. in. Wow. It was actually the week after Spice Girls launched one, their last album and it was in the club that they'd launched it oh in Oh my in God, London. so they were at the height of their powers cleaning. Oh, like, no, no, they yeah. were, they were. We're talking about one or two in. people. She met an entire football team. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I should have a clue who half of them were. <laughs> I remember Ryan Giggs made eye contact with my friend and all night she was going, Ryan Giggs made eye contact with yeah, me. They <laughs> probably would have done more than that as well, given <laughs> half the chance. But um, Victoria came in and she sat on, sat on David's lap and um, yeah, that's just Okay, great. we got about a minute left. Okay, right, we've got to be quick. That. So let's get this great out of the way. Off. This is going to go in the oven. Yes. Mm -hmm. As I, as I vanish. What heat? How much 220 time? 220 to 25 minutes. Lovely. Oh, quick. Yeah. So this, this is the one I made earlier. This. Oh, look at that bubbling okay. away. Yes, While so you're so plating up, yeah. uh, we've been asking you, have you ever met any random celebs? Uh, Jer Duffy said, uh, I fitted a snooker table for Matt Damon when he was staying in Dorky. Oh. Do we, have, do we have a picture of it? No. Oh, oh super. Oh, well done, Jer. That's great. OK. He's just missing the super value bag. Uh, Pat McCann says, I met Marty Whelan once. Mm -hmm. People say we look alike. I wonder That's why. Ah, oh, brilliant. Brothers. The stash off there. Uh, Neve <laughs> said, no, I met Heath Ledger when I was a teenager. I nearly fainted when he was there. I ran over to him. Um, but he told me where to go. Oh, Don't meet no. your heroes. Dreams Terrible. shattered, she says. Oh, God, RIP Heath Ledger. Uh, Sebastian Amid says, I won't gay crash a private pet shop boys par after party at the Savoy in London. I met Neil Tennant and Chris Lowe, my all-time favourite musical gods. It was a long story, but they both assumed I was the other's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. I got both of their autographs. Deadly. It works. It worked. Listen, thanks for sharing with us. Uh, we're going to tuck into this. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks mm. to all of our guests and, of course, to Cleaner for the delicious Yay, fish boy gorgeous. and to our mother yeah. Yeah. for the recipe. <laughs> I'm going to be back with Ray Foley tomorrow. We're going to be chatting with Bewitched. You don't want to miss it. Cheers. Thanks, Cleaner. Good night. Mm.